We're continuing with the girl fight, I guess you'd call it, night, uh, what do they call that? 336, the girls, the caliph has the, the girls debating the colors. And so, night 336, <laughs> morning now dawn, Scheherazade broke off from what she had been allowed to say then when it was the 336th night. She continued, I have heard, O fortunate king, that he pointed at the plump girl who got up, pointed in turn at the slender girl. Now we have uh, slender versus plump. <laughs> we had before white versus black. Now we have the plump girl in night 335 was white versus black. Now, night 336, plump versus slender. The plump girl uncovered her legs, her wrist, and her belly, revealing its folds and showing off her rounded navel. <laughs> but then she put on a, a thin shift through which her whole body could be seen. And she said, praise be to him who has created me in this excellent form has made me beautifully plump like the branch of a tree, adding to my grace and splendor. Praise be to him who has favored me and ennobled me by mentioning me in his glorious book, where he said, Almighty is he, he brought a fattened calf. Uh -huh. He has, quotation, Quran fifty one twenty six. he has made me like a orchard of Peaches and pomegranates, people like to eat fat birds rather than thin ones, while everyone prefers to eat fat meat. Mm -hmm. How many pride, sources of pride are there for fatness? How excellent are the poet's lines, quote, Say farewell to your beloved, for the caravan moves off. But are you able to say farewell, old man? She walks to her neighbor's tent. She walks as a plump girl with no blemishes or weariness. I have seen, never seen anyone stop at the butcher's who does not ask him for fat meat while pleasure. The wise men have said lies in three things. Eating flesh, riding on flesh, and inserting flesh in the flesh. <laughs> I think this is X-rated. As for you, thin girls, your legs are those of a sparrow or the poker of an oven. You are the wood in which men are crucified. You are ransom meat, and there is nothing in you to light the heart. The poet has said of you, I take refuge with God from having to make love. When it is like rubbing the palm fibers. Every part of her body has a horn that butts me when I sleep, and so my body weakens. <laughs> Sit down, said her master, for that is enough. When she had taken her seat, she, he pointed to the thin girl. Hmm. Who got up like the branch of a ban, B-A-N tree? a bamboo shoot, or a stalk of sweet basil. She said, Praise be to God, who has made me beautiful, and made union with me the goal of desire, creating me like the branch to which hearts incline. If I get up, I get up lightly. And if I sit, it is with elegance. <laughs> In jesting, I am lighthearted. <laughs> And my gaiety makes me sweet-natured. <laughs> hmm. You think I have a bias towards things? Uh, I think our culture has one. I have never found anyone describing his beloved as being as big as an elephant. <laughs> or like a huge mountain. <laughs> Rather, they say, my beloved is slender with a slim figure. Slender. A small amount of food is enough for me. Uh -huh. hmm. 
I need only a little water to quench my thirst. I am lively when I play. And mine is a charming disposition. <laughs> I am more agile than a sparrow, lighter in my movements than a starling. Upon me, a union with me is what men desire and what brings pleasure to my suitors. <laughs> my figure is beautiful and my smile lovely. I am like the branch of a ban tree, a bamboo shoot, or a stalk of sweet basil. <laughs> hmm. No one can match my beauty, as the poet has said. I have compared your figure to a twig, and your form is my good fortune. I follow after you as a distraught lover, fearing the watcher may bring harm on you. It is those like me who inspire desperate love and who drive lovers to distraction. If my beloved draws me to him, I yield. And if he tries to win my favor, I increase to him rather than turn against him. As for you, fat girl, you eat like an elephant, and no amount of food, great or small, can suffice you. And lying with you, your lover can experience no relaxation or any way of resting with you. Your huge belly stops him enjoying you, and the thickness of your thighs prevents him from possessing your vagina. What beauty is there in your thick body? What smooth grace is there in your coarseness? Fat meat is fit only for the butcher. And there is nothing in it that calls for praise. If anyone jokes with you, you are angry. And if a man plays with you, you become gloomy. When you try to act a coquette, you snort, you pomp, then you walk, then you eat, you never have enough. You weigh more than a mountain and you are worse than ruin and disaster. You cannot move and you bring no blessing. You want to do nothing but eat and sleep. When you piss, it is like spurting water, and when you shit, you are like a bursting wineskin or an elephant changed into a woman. When you go to the lavatory, you need someone to wash your private parts for you and pluck the hairs there, and there is the height of laziness and the sign of weak-mindedness. You have nothing to boast about, and it is you that the poet has said, quote, she is heavy as a bladder, inflated with urine, and launches like mountainous pillars. When she takes a walk and waddles in the west, she crushes the ground so that the east is shaken. Oh, sit down, said the master, for that is enough. He had asked them to insult each other, you see. It's like a rap contest where you, like, uh, huh. What's the guy? <laughs> it's like rap. So we're reading about a rap ancient rap. Sit down, said the master, for that is enough. When she had taken her seat, she pointed to the yellow girl. He pointed to the yellow girl, who rose to her feet, praised and glorified Almighty God, calling down praise, blessing on his prophet, the rest of his creation. Then pointing at the dark girl, she said, so now the yellow is against the dark. We had read night 336, which was... Fat versus thin, or plump girl versus slender girl. Night 336. In night 336, it's a fat girl versus a slender girl. Or the plump girl versus slender girl, or the fat girl versus the thin girl. And this is a, a rap, early Arabic rap contest. <laughs> What do they call those things? Mm -hmm. Eight Mile, mm -hmm. Slim Shady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who do you think won the debate? Or you don't? We'll see. We'll see. You're gonna see who wins? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see. You have to read, listen to your later nights to find the answer. That's the way it works. Sorry, Charlie.